Hi everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel, where I will be doing a series of very powerful, inspirational, and educational videos. So please keep watching, and please, if you enjoy my videos, please hit the like button for me, and also the subscribe button. Now, having said all that, I would like to ask you a question. Have you ever suffered from severe stomach cramps, upset stomach, or stomach pain, or maybe nausea and vomiting, or gas and bloating, or indigestion, heartburn, or maybe you've had that annoying diarrhea just, that just doesn't seem to want to go away, well, I've got the perfect remedy for you. That's right, it's called charcoal water or charcoal drink. And it's very easy, easy and simple to make. All you need, as a matter of fact, is a bag of activated charcoal powder. That's right. And you can get this anywhere. You can get it, you can even order it online at um, Amazon, or you can get it at the drugstore or the pharmacy, or you can get it even at Walmart or the health food store or, or the whole food store. So it's very easy to obtain. It's, like I said, it's easily obtainable. It's easily um, affordable and it's easy and safe to use. You also need water and a medium to large glass. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is pour the water in the glass. Never, and I repeat, never, when you're making charcoal water, never put the charcoal powder in the glass first because you know what will happen? Charcoal is very messy and puffy and it will, the fumes from the powder will just go up, come up and go all over your clothes and and your uh, countertop and tabletop and everything that's nearby. So you want to be very careful with charcoal. So first thing you want to do is pour the water, pour uh, um, some water in a large to or a medium glass. You can fill it up to probably about three quarter of the glass. Okay, so we've got our glass of water. Then we're gonna put one to two tablespoons of charcoal powder in the water and mix it up. Uh, you can put one tablespoon if you'd like, um, or you can increase it to two tablespoons just to basically increase the, the effect of the charcoal or improve the effect of the charcoal. And like I said, charcoal is very messy, so just be careful. There's one tablespoon, and I'll do two tablespoons for the purpose of this video. And all you do is mix it around. Just mix it up. And it's very smoky and puffy, so you need to be careful. It might be good to wear old clothing. Um, clothing that you, you don't mind if it's, if it's messed up when you're working with charcoal. Okay, it's ready. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And then you can just drink, just drink the whole glass. Let me just say that 
your mouth might get a little bit messy because charcoal stains and it's a little bit messy but all you have to do is is rinse it off as as easy as that so um when you're done drinking the first glass the sediments that are left in the bottom of the glass what you can do is you can pour more water on top of that and just drink a second glass just to, just for better results it's that simple all right so now that we've um You've done the demonstration on how to make charcoal water. I'd like to go through the three don'ts in regard to charcoal water. The first one, and I mentioned this before, is whenever you're making charcoal water, do not, and I repeat, do not put the charcoal powder in first. And I said, I said this before, because if you pour water on the charcoal powder, it'll puff up and rise and get all over the smoke or the, the particles, dust particles from the charcoal will get all over your clothing and charcoal stains. And it will get on your, maybe your cloth, on the table. It's good to, um, when you're working with charcoal, to put like, you know, work on plastic, put some plastic on the table and then work on that. All right? And, if, you know, not only on your clothes, but on the, like I said, on the table and on everything else that's nearby. So you want to be very careful. The second don't with charcoal is, please, if you're on any kind of medication, do not take charcoal drink. Do not drink charcoal if, you're, if you happen to be on medication at the time. And I'll explain why. Charcoal is an adsorbent. Ad as in addition, which means it adds itself or attaches itself to substances in the body and then pulls it out of the bloodstream. It neutralizes the effect of whatever it attaches itself to. So you have to be very careful. And yes, this includes your medication. So if you're on medication, it's good to wait until at least two hours after you've taken the medication to take charcoal. Now, the, the and remember I just said that charcoal is an adsorbent. So before I forget, I just want to mention that because it's an adsorbent and it can draw or, or um, neutralize anything that's in the bloodstream and pull it out of the body, then it can also work with poison. Yeah. So if you've ingested poison, taken anything poisonous by accident, maybe a drink or um, um, some kind of food, then what you can do is drink, char drink um, some charcoal and that will help with it, along with seeing the doctor. Okay, so I just want to stress that. That's my disclaimer. This is in no way intended to replace a visit to your physician. So in the, in the event of anything serious, yes, you can take charcoal, anything serious such as poison. It also works with snake bites. You can take liberal amounts of charcoal with snake bites throughout the, throughout the day and also with poison. All right, so it attaches itself to any infectious substances or any toxic substances and pulls it out of the bloodstream. So it's very effective with poison and also snake bites and intestinal infections, like I mentioned earlier on. All right, now, um, having, having said that, we, we see that charcoal is a very powerful remedy and um, it has so many different benefits. I've mentioned some of them to you. Um, the other um, benefits but let me, before I, before I continue, let me just say that um, we were on the second don't, so that the second don't, don't, don't um, take medications or don't take charcoal along with medications, okay, because it will neutralize the effect. Wait two hours, at least two hours after you've taken the medication to take charcoal drink. The third don't is don't take charcoal, don't, don't ever take charcoal on a full stomach because what will happen is the, all that food in the stomach will it will neutralize the effect of the charcoal and or reduce its power by about 50%. So if you need to take charcoal on a full stomach, take liberal amounts to make up for that, all right? But I just wanna say with the liberal amounts, be very careful because in general, too much charcoal can also cause constipation, all right? Having said all that, the other benefits to charcoal is that it's, it's, it's a natural deodorizer in that it helps with body odor. So if you're having problems with body odor, 
you can take a couple of charcoal drinks and what happens is the charcoal will pull those impurities uh, or and any and or any bacterial agents that's causing the odor it will pull it out of your body and through this the pores in the skin and that will lessen the body odor or reduce the body odor another thing is charcoal is good for foul smelling or bad smelling stools so we can see the powerful effects of of charcoal um, and also the many benefits of charcoal and having said that I just like to say that charcoal is good yes you can take it for many things but if it the, if the condition is very serious please like I've said before consult a physician in addition to taking the charcoal and that's it if you enjoyed my video if you liked what you heard please go ahead and click on the subscribe button for me and also the like button thank you for watching and until and until next time please remember jesus is coming back very soon so be of good courage and god bless thanks again for watching